Yo, what is up guys and gals? Today I'm going through part three of my fishing bait arsenal. I'm gonna go through these two bags right here. I got a spider wire bag there, which is holding my hard baits. And then another Kevin Van Dam series bag over there, which is holding some soft plastics and stuff. So let's go ahead and get right into it here. And got tied on there, some scissors there. That's the Boomerang Tool Company. Uh, really good for braid. It's just tied on the bag there. Break it right on up here. And first thing we got here are some jerk baits. Go ahead and open them up for you guys. Get you guys a better look. So we go into a bunch of different jerk bait styles lures. Here, this white and blue one here is a custom one from THK Customs. And then also right there. We got the Live Target series. The bait ball styles there. That's a larger version one. We got those. Um, we got some Berkeleys and Yoziris in there. And some other brands, I'm not even sure. Right there we got some Levinson Lures. Moving down the line, some more Levinson Lures. And this top one here is a Six Sense. That that olive pearl color right there is a Six Sense one. Moving down even farther, we got a, a trout style one. I'm not exactly sure the brand on that one. And then we go into some Damikis, which are these long skinny ones here. Those are Demikis, and then those are some Rapala ones right there. Those are actually discontinued for many, many years. Going right over here, uh, I just did an unboxing of these, so if you guys want to see that, I'll leave it in the link down below in the description. Those are the Jackal Range 110s and 130s. And then over here we got some the Spro sticks there. And then right down there, those will get moved eventually. Those are just spy baits, but those will have their own bag or their own box. So that's my jerk bait box. That's all the jerk baits I have at the moment. Next box here. We go into my square bills. Up top, we got a bunch of live target square bills. Those are the ones that are discontinued. They don't make them anymore. But I've always had good success with those. I got a live target shrimp in there. And then I got a Yozuri crawl up there as well, right here. This is a cool little bait to use. It's pretty fun. Down here, we got some of my crawl style crankbaits. There's a Molex right there. I really like that color a lot. I think it looks nasty. Uh, we got Spros, Strike King. This is a custom bait. It's like a Lucky Craft Blink there. Some Demiki. More Spros. And then right in there, we go into all my Shad style colors. Lots of different brands. Six Cents, Rapala, Strike King, Live Target. We got some duos in there, Spro. And then going into my Lax box here, gonna be more square bills. These are gonna be used my dirty water style colors my chartreuses and some of my uh dirty water colors there and 
These are the Storm Arashi style cranks there. Jackal right there. So he's missing an eye. Levinson Lures. There's a custom bait there. Spro. RCs. The Rick Clun styles. And that is all for my crankbaits right there in that box. And we'll go ahead and get in my soft plastics here. Alright, I'm going to get into my uh, soft plastic bag. I got some jigs and terminal tackler in there. If you guys want to know what's in the side pouches, I just got line. And there's some scent down in that one. And on the other side is um, dip and dye. Like uh, AJ's Magic and some Mendic glue and stuff and super glue. First box here. We got new tech new jigs and I think a couple other random ones that I've just stuck in here over the year that will get moved eventually but these are all my new tech new jigs. See I got a hair jig in there too. All this stuff is going to get moved. Again I'm just going through stuff. So all this stuff will get moved eventually but... There's all my new textile jigs and then some other random little booyah jigs. That's what's in that little box there. And then going down right below, I got my finesse jigs, some of my smaller jigs. I'm holding some football jigs in there as well. Right there. These are all football head style. Got some trailers in there. That is what's in that box. Um, I don't remember all the brands for those guys, so that's why I'm not saying them all. Um, I know I got a lot of dirty jigs, a lot of new tech lures, and some booyahs, but I know a lot of them are uh, dirty jig jigs. Right here, we got a Bass Mafia terminal tackle box here. So I'm going to have all my terminal tackle in here. Um, I had them all labeled at one point. I'm going to have to relabel them. My labels didn't stick very well. But up top, we got we go from 4 aughts to 3 aughts and 2 aughts EWG hooks. I think these ones are 5 aught here. Yeah, those ones are 5 aught. Go some to some of the wobblehead style baits. Or I mean... Uh, lead heads those are my trocar flipping hooks there a ton of those in there those are the wobble heads and the shaky heads there all down this down here we got some more these are some more smaller wobble head styles I got these little heads here. I like to fish these with the Z-Man TRDs, the little ones. Those are, work really, really well. Some wacky hooks, weighted, drop shot hooks down there. Let me go into some lead drop shot weights. More, more, more. Those are some punching skirts there with uh, bigger uh, tungsten lead weights there. Right there we got trapper tackle hooks. Right there. Got a bunch of those and just a uh, 4 at size. Got these blades here to rig with soft plastic swim baits. Got silver and then a gold and chartreuse for muddy water. These are some blades. Um, I, I really like to uh, put these underneath um, swim baits or even tie them onto soft plastics as well. It works really well. There's some chartreuse ones there. Got some small tungsten weights, just regular worm weights, and some lead weights there, and nail weights for soft plastics right there. So that's what's in my terminal tackle box there, guys. Up next, we got some jig trailers, which are just all craws. These are all Power Team Lures craws here. 
Sorry about my arm there in the way. I guess I thought most of them were, but most of them are all Power Team Lures, and I got some pack of craws in there, which are right there. Those are the pack of chunks. And then I forget the brand of these. Um, I wasn't using them as drig trailers. I was using them to skip under docks because of this really flat, super flat side to it. See, it's got a thick body there at the end and it goes into this nice flat style craw. I wish I remember the name of it, I just don't know. But I used it to skip under docks and I really enjoy doing that. That had all my jig trailers. And here are some of my Kitex swim baits. Um, this is not all my soft plastics, guys. This is what I just have in my tackle bag. A lot of it's out in the garage, but I'm going to show you what's in this stuff first. So there's all my Kitex swim baits. Some of them are already rigged up with some Picasso heads. Here's, uh, here's one of the Picasso heads with the blades underneath there. And there's all my heads to rig them up with. A bunch of different sizes and styles. Uh, a lot of Picassos in there. So um, that is it for those two bag guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm going to keep these parts rolling out. And I will actually be going to the Schomburg Fishing Expo tomorrow, which is Friday. So um, I don't know if any of you guys are in the area or have ever been to it. But I will be there. So if you guys want to stop in and say hi or whatnot, I'm down to meet anybody that comes. So thank you guys for watching. This is Matt, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.